Hello everyone. My name is Helene McNeil. However, everyone calls me Teddy. For those who wonder how I got Teddy out of Helene, my father was Theodore and my parents wanted a boy. So I've been Teddy ever since I was born. All right, now we'll put that aside. Uh, I'm here today to tell you I'm a candidate for Governor's Council in District 4. Many people do not know that the Governor's Council position exists or exactly what they do. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, our duties are very important. They include vetting the judicial appointments by a governor, voting on pardons and paroles, our other duties. Uh, polls show that the greatest concerns of voters right now are the economy and crime, and this is where the Governor's Council would come into play. Uh, my feelings are that a uh, governor uh, should appoint a judge who does not bring his or her biases into their decision making and adheres to the Constitution. Also, we want judges that are rather tough on crime. Uh, how many times have we heard stories where a judge will let a repeat felon out on the streets with a slap on the wrist only to go and commit another crime? We're hoping to stop this practice. Also, I feel a judicial appointment should not be a gift for a, a, a gubernatorial donation. There are eight members on the Governor's Council. Currently, there are no Republicans. My district encompasses wards 6 through 20 in Boston, along with various precincts in wards 1 through 5. I also have the city of Quincy, Hull, Hingham, Cohasset, uh, Situate, Marshfield and Duxbury, Hanover, Norwell, Weymouth, Abington, Holbrook, Dedham, Westwood, Walpole, and Norwood. With that being said, I've decided to run now. As a longtime dedicated Republican, I feel it is my time to get on the ballot and give the voters a choice. Considering myself to be a blue collar Reagan Republican, I do not want to sit back and complain. That is not an option. As a retired conservative and traditional educator, I have the time and the passion to serve our Commonwealth. Regarding my background, I'm a mother, a grandmother, and previously, as previously stated, a conservative educator. Also, I am a former Republican State Committee woman. I am not a politician, but a conservative activist. I am the daughter of two Democratic parents who died as Reagan Republicans. Coming of age in the 60s made me aware of the downward spiral our nation is taking. The Democratic Party of today is not our parents' Democratic Party. As I said earlier, to give the voters a choice for their governor's counselor um, is my main objective. My opponent has been filling the seat for almost 30 years. I take the position of vetting the governor's judicial appointees very seriously. Following the Constitution is paramount. With the two-tiered system of justice, which we now see, and the corrupt government agencies, we must wake up now. Socialism is also not an option. It is my duty to do my part in preserving this wonderful country, which many servicemen and women have sacrificed lives and limbs to preserve. We must think of what we are leaving our next generation. We are on the precipice of losing our precious republic. I humbly ask for your vote 